Alright, today is day two of this extreme heat wave. Not really extreme. 91 once again on the weather station. The temperature and humidity difference between my bedroom and everywhere else is so gigantic that it looks like my lens is fogging up. So hold on. Ninety-one outside yet again. All right, cleaned off the lens. Let's go ahead and take a look at uh, conditions around the house now. Eighty-six point one, sixty-six percent relative humidity in the kitchen. By the way, it is uh, just after four p.m. Four fifteen. Eighty-six point one in here as well. Okay, the, the bathroom eighty-five point one and the humidity seventy-one percent in here. The main thermostat says it is eighty-six, and uh, in the office, I'll zoom in on the window fan real quick. I want to show you the thermostat on the window fans reading 90. It said 91 a few minutes ago. And uh, we are getting 87.1, 63% in here, so having this on this mode not really helping. So let's fix. And of course, to nobody's surprise, my bedroom. That's reading 73. Here we've got 71.4 and the humidity way lower of course as well. This has basically the same reading. The humidity just like 2% higher, according to this sensor. And the, uh, Accurite has that. And this is just a little after 4 p.m. On, let's get the date here. June 19th, 2024. And once again, my air conditioner keeping my bedroom cool and dry, unlike the rest of the house. All right, now I believe that there is a way to see the max and minimum that this thing got, and I think it probably got higher than yesterday, so. Let me see if I can uh, find the button on the back. That's not it for sure. I just had the light button on the front by a mistake. Oh, the buttons are all the way up at the top. Hold on. Alright, so... Uh, hit the up button and you get the history. 91.7 was the maximum temperature today. I don't know, what was the minimum overnight? 69. So yeah, that's what we're looking at. Got up to nearly 92 outside today. Even warmer and more humid than yesterday. All right, now I've made the decision today, probably actually a good day to get the Pro Air Max in service. Let's see how it will do.
Alright. There we go. Kind of. I'm gonna plug it in. I'm gonna have to unplug something here because all the plugs are full. Alright. Let's uh straighten the vents out. Power it on. Alright. The uh, you know, workings of it are a little. Oh, Push it against the wall to get it to go. There we are. Now it's on. This is on fan. And, uh, can't really hear anything. It does push a tiny bit of air, kind of doesn't really do much, but yeah. Now if I uh, hit this switch, that will turn on the peltiers, which gives a little cooling. Emphasis on little because it really doesn't do a whole lot. Definitely we'll need to do a uh, a rebuild of something like this that works a lot better because there are definitely many flaws in uh, its design. It's kind of a glorified window fan if you really think about it. It's got the side-by-side -side design and uh, exposed to the uh, air outside as well. You can see there the fan running in the back. And uh, if I go to a different window, you can actually see from the outside what it looks like. This window right here. Here you have it. Max from the outside. I don't know how much that will do, but we don't want to, you know, have to get Taco Bell two nights in a row, potentially three, because well, this heat wave still isn't over. This is only day two. Got to do something here. So, uh, yeah. Speaking of something, Let me go ahead and so what I meant to hit. Got the app open already. I can put the camera down and just hold my phone up in front of it. All right. All right. Get my phone in front of the camera it's very bright so uh actually let me get the brightness down hopefully make the screen a little easier to see on the camera let's say yeah all right so uh let's take a look at the graph here for the the kitchen. I could lower that even more. Alright, so uh, there's right now 2.73.6 right now. Go to the day view. You can see the trend over the past 24 hours. There you are, and the temperature trend, it already is higher than it was yesterday in here. And that is uh, on accounts of both 
temperature and humidity. And uh, now it appears to have uh, stopped at 86.2 for a while. Alright, the bathroom. Okay, 85.1 uh, right now, and of course the humidity is still quite high in there. It looks like 75 degree dew point in the bathroom. Crazy. And then uh, the charts there, let me bring this closer. Hold on. That's better. There's the relative humidity. And those spikes are whenever somebody showers. So yeah, there's that. If they're still using warm water, that is. I'm probably not going to be doing that. And uh, yeah, there you have it. In the office, where we got the window fan. Let's see, you know. This one will be the surprising one because, yeah, all right. So 87.6 and it just peaked out a little bit earlier and then they changed the mode and now it is descending a little bit. All right. Relative humidity, 64%, dew point, 73 and a half there as well. All right, over the day view, there's a trend for the dew point, humidity, you can see everything went dro drops down at night, and the temperature as well. And you can see close to midnight, it kind of had a little valley there because we were running the window fan and shut off when we went to sleep. So uh, it cooled down to like 78 and then went back up a little bit. Then up until eight in the morning, it continues to cool down naturally a little bit. Now uh, we are up here, and of course, in the bedroom. This won't take long to load at all because uh, I have the Wi-Fi models in my bedroom. There is the 24-hour history of the temperature. And look at how spiky it is. It's very up and down because the air conditioner is frequently running. Same thing with the humidity and dew point. And look at how much lower the dew point in my bedroom is compared to everywhere else. So, uh, yeah. That is that. Those are the graphs that I wanted to show you. I'm gonna fix auto brightness on my phone in a second, but yeah, that's to show you what's going on here. ProWare Max going now. Because that's the only thing that's gonna fit in this window. And uh, it looks like it's starting to make a little difference, I guess. But, nothing is going to beat the king of cooling, at least here. My Medea Comfort Sense air conditioner. And it's about to be warm enough for it to turn on again. Alright, well it's still 90 and high humidity. Let's head outside real quick. See what it's like on the outside. Alright. Alright, here's the pool once again. Getting it cleaned up and ready to go for this summer. 
because this summer is definitely going to be a hot one. All right, if you can uh, see all the way over there. Another air conditioner has been set up across the street. There's even another one on the side there, if you can see. Might be better if I uh, go down over this way. The grass is pretty cool. To the touch, anyways. Yeah. I can hear them running, too. So, yeah, they've got air conditioners set up over there. And wherever they don't have AC set up, you can see the blinds are just left down. Whoa. Just heard water coming from mine. And I just heard the fan turn on, so it looks like this is about to turn on. It would be interesting to see a compressor start up from the outside. Can you hear the water? Yeah, there it goes. Air conditioner just started the compressor while I was outside. That sure is an interesting thing to see. So there's that. Yeah, there's the window fan over there. Doing its thing there. Well, whatever it can, because it's still hot out here. So, uh, yeah, there we go. It's uh, everything from the outside. already showed the program max earlier. Now, in terms of getting things cooled down at night, I do have one more window fan, the comfort zone that I was using in my bedroom last year. Over, uh, we have to find a place that it can be, uh, used. We're gonna use it. Alright, just below 90. Not that that makes much of a difference. So, uh, yeah. Today, even warmer than it was yesterday. You know, I actually think the Pro Max might be doing something. I just saw a 6.0. Yep, there you go. This might be doing something, to my surprise. Didn't really think it would do much, but... Never doubt anything, really. Because you never know what can happen. Alright. So 86 in here, 440. And, uh, if you got their, uh, they got an AC set up there, across the street there. I think I showed that yesterday too, but I figured I'd show you again. And as for this thing, as much as I would like to consider it an air conditioner, I don't know if it lives up to that because it doesn't do a whole lot. It's got like a window fan-esque design. It's like a glorified underpowered window fan. That I did indeed put some uh, thermoelectric modules in. You can tell by the heat sinks if you can see there. Because I was hoping that would achieve some sort of cooling effect. And the, the effect is minimal. This is a very low power unit. So not only uh, the fans do not move a ton of air, very little, you have to be like right in front of it to feel anything. In fact, I can feel it right here, but if I move my hand further away, I can't really feel anything. The uh, pelt ears take away a lot of the current necessary in order to add more airflow to it and to achieve very little heat pumping action. So yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to do a redesign of this thing in the future, one that's way better. But for now, this thing, it might be able to do something, you know, 
so uh, I'll give it a chance. Alright, in true air conditioning land over here by the Medea Comfort Sense. Ice cold air coming out of there. And great airflow, of course. Despite all the water in the back. But if I uh, go over here. Well, oh, there's a closer shot of the controls, but I don't want to get a shot of the compressor sound. You can hear that. All the times that this thing has been on and off in the past 24 hours plus. It's been doing a lot of hard work to keep my bedroom nice and cool. But it's paying off because, you know, I can actually sleep comfortably in here, not sweating all night long. And uh, that's great. This thing really does its job well. And, uh,. It's definitely proving itself through the stress test of the first heat wave of the year. And uh, if my expectations are right in the fact that there's going to be more heat waves to come after this one, that will probably be even more extreme in temperatures and or length, like possibly triple digits or something that happened in 2022 happening again. You know, heat wave lasting for an entire week, seven straight days, sometimes eight actually, it may have been eight, I don't remember exactly how many, but nonetheless we had some pretty extreme heat waves 2021 and 2022. And uh, those definitely are expected to happen this year, because a lot of people are calling for one of the hottest summers ever to be recorded here this year. So uh, yeah. If expectations are met, it's possible we could see triple digits throughout the summer, like sometime throughout the summer, or we could see some more extensive heat waves happening here. And the scene that this thing can pull its weight is great. It means I'll actually survive those heat waves. It is so hot everywhere around this room. I'm not I'm not joking. The rest of the house is very hot. Outside's hot. It's so hot. My air conditioner is barely winning the battle against the heat. Just got down to uh, its satisfaction point. 72 on the remote. And now on the low fan speed you can definitely hear water in the back. This sensor is reading 70.5.7, it's fluctuating a bit, 51% humidity. Because my AC has been running for a very long time at this point. What was it, 4.30 uh, maybe that it turned on? I'm not sure. I don't remember. But now it's 5.18. And it's finally satisfied. And uh, watch it turn back on again in like 10-15 minutes from now. Alright, whoa. 94? Let's take a look at the history here. Yeah, we did indeed peak around 94 at 3 p.m. Tomorrow, once again, gonna be hot. A relief is in sight, but not after one more hot day. Oh, man. And overnight? Yeah, once again, it's really not gonna cool down too much. 67 at minimum. And we're going to be above the 70 degree line until beyond midnight.
Right on temperature occurring around 5 a.m. As you can see there. And then once again 3 p.m. peaking in the 90s tomorrow. Hopefully Friday will spill the end of this. Because uh, this is crazy. Really gotta thank my air conditioner for uh, keeping me alive here. And, uh, yeah, look at that already. Temperature going back up. It just happened so fast. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, Show you how long the AC actually ran for in the most recent cycle. Oh my god. Alright. So we have from 439, it looks like is when it's turned on. I think that's a 3 there. Yep, 439. Two five nineteen exactly forty minutes of runtime. There's the twenty four hour view again. And look at how often it is running. This is how hot it is with these heat waves. All right. Is the program max holding its weight? Uh, maybe. I don't know. It's cooling down outside too, so it might just be because it's cooling down outside. I did uh, temporarily take this out and then decide to put it back in. The reason is because, well, my dad came home and I assumed we might need to use the toaster, so I just took it out for a while, but I'm I have high doubts that we're going to be using this thing, so let's just keep the Pro Max here. I mean, this is more important right now anyways to try and cool down in here. As for elsewhere, I mean, my bedroom, it's obvious. Come in here for a second. I've got my air conditioner. Not on right now, but, you know gonna be holding the weight in here keeping it cool and uh, yeah my air conditioner is doing a lot of work to keep it cool here and over here in the office on full power high speed air circulate mode the Shinnick BP 690 window fan all right, so that's uh, what we've got running for cooling. Let's do temperature checks in here. Office, 85.5, 63% humidity. This main thermostat says 84. All right, my battery icon's flashing. I better hurry this up. Bathroom, 85.0, 69%. Just dropped to 84.9, probably fluctuating. 5.6 out here. And in here. 85.7, 64%. Down here. Outside it is 87.8, 61%. And in this room, 87.2. And once again, 61%. So the humidity is pretty tied up here. Temperature varies by a bit. And just, just by being out here for like two minutes, I'm already sweating. Back in my bedroom. According to the wall sensor, let's turn my light on to make it easier to see that thing here. 
currently 73 and 59 percent for this sensor. And uh, this sensor is saying 72, 65 percent. It might be a bit behind, I don't know. Alright, one battery swap later. I have uh, come to the conclusion this is reading lower than the one on the wall for the reason that the wall is probably warm because of the rest of the house being so much warmer than this room since this is the only room with a genuine air conditioner. Hope it's on again. That didn't take too long at all. It's 548. So that took like half an hour to turn back on. My air conditioner that is. As for here in the office, I have set the window fan to a temperature. Uh, let me zoom in on the indicator there. It is currently reading the ambient temperature, saying 86, 87 is fluctuating now. If I hit the temp button, I, you can see I set it for 71. So uh, when it cools down later, if we're going to keep it running, it will cut off when it needs to. I may raise that up a little bit if necessary, but that's what it's set to right now. So there's that. But it's still very, very warm out. So a long way to go before it actually cools down, even with it running on high. And the Pro Air Max. If I wanted to, I could get a smart plug. And I can uh, give it a set point based off of this thing here. But I'm just going to let it run because, yeah, long way to go yet again. This is one speed, one setting only. Well, actually, there's two settings, fan only and whatever cooling capacity it does have. And I got it on whatever cooling capacity it does have. As you can see by the snowflake indicator being on. And uh, for those of you who don't know, I built this myself. This is a homemade air conditioner, so that is why it's so tacky and doesn't really do the job of a regular air conditioner. But it does actually work to a degree, so I'd say I'm proud of myself for building something like this. And I'm hoping that it actually makes a difference because we really need it here. I am sweating just being out here for more than two minutes. That is how bad it is, and I gotta get back into my bedroom where the uh, air conditioning is going. Cranking, that it is, and it's not, you know, the low level of the Pro Air Max. It's genuine air conditioning in my bedroom. So yeah, I really need to make a Pro Air Max version 2 that runs way better than that thing. And, uh, that might be a project to do while I'm at college in uh, 2024 to 25. So I'll definitely look into it because we definitely need some more ACs around here, especially ACs that fit into smaller windows. Like you know, I'm actually pretty lucky that this thing even can fit in this window because this window doesn't open up too high, only goes up to 10 inches of a height opening or opening height. And the Pro Air Max measures to 9 inches tall, the only thing that is small enough to fit in this window. So, yeah, that is a saving grace right there, good thing that I designed it like that. As for, uh, oh, there's a fly in this window, uh, it's behind, there it is, there's a fly there, that's why this window's closed. These windows are 18 win inches wide, and uh, I don't know how tall they are, probably the regular 14, 15 inches opening height, but I definitely can design something to fit in these too. Because uh, this room definitely needs something as well. It's uh, usually going to be people in here because the TV and stuff. And uh, this old tower theme here. That by the way, there is no information on whatsoever on the internet. It's made by Feature Comforts. I cannot find it anywhere. No information whatsoever available on the line. This tower fan is the only thing in this room. Because I can't fit anything else in these windows. Not even the Pro or Max because of the side panels. So, uh, yeah, I gotta get 
hopefully more solutions for next year even though I'm pretty sure this is probably going to be the hottest summer I'm going to experience for a while. Alright, it is time for our 6.09 p.m. update. My air conditioner is still conditioning my air as you can see. Or actually here, I mean you can't see the air moving but... Oh, whatever. So that's still going on. And uh... Yeah, still working hard. It's out here. Yeah, I can't really say much has changed. There for the real... The real... Meat and potatoes of the update for... 6 p.m. here. It's gonna be uh, up here. A 6 outside still. Now the things get interesting when we head... Outside. Filling the pool now, as you can see the um, the hose there, and you can hear the water going. The pool is being filled up now, and will hopefully be ready by tomorrow for day three of this heat wave. There's my air conditioner running yet again, being an absolute champion. You get one of those uh, hoses that expand when being used. And uh, the window fan also kind of, you know, doing its thing there. It's really nowhere near as effective as my air conditioner. But it's doing something, so not complaining. Uh, yeah, got the, this hose running the pool and uh, filling the pool up here so that should be ready by tomorrow we're gonna have to leave this going the whole night because this is a lot to fill everything else is set up the pool's been cleaned should be good to go for the rest of the summer once this is done and over with. And uh, we will have a way to cool down other than the air conditioner in my room. Because that air conditioner only cools my room. And that is the only air conditioner that we have. Okay, found a solution for this here for the time being. This is my uh, Govi fan. It's got very powerful airflow on high speed wind noise in the microphone if I put the camera right in front of it. So I uh, have this on maximum and this will hopefully handle this room. But I am going to have to have this open here. Probably the other side too so the air can go out the other window and we circulate in this one. It looks like that's happening so yeah hold on. Open this here. Move this this way. There we go. Now we get a lot of airflow in here. And uh, that should help this room cool down at night. This is a really good fan. I can feel the air from across the room. It is angled up, but yeah, all the way back here I'm still feeling it. That thing on the ceiling is moving. That's how you know it's got great airflow. So, uh, yeah, looks like this is a good solution here. And, uh, probably my favorite thing about it is it is by Govi, so I can control it through the app here. Even when I'm away from home because it's also got Wi-Fi support. Alright, so, uh, no Govee sensor in this room, but track the temperature here with the thermometer in this clock. 
Well, let me show you uh, the app control in action. So I've got it turned off now. The fan is uh, off. Move closer to it. Yeah. Now I'll press on here and it turns right on. It's still warm outside so I'm definitely going to wait to uh, have it going. So I'll just have it off for now but this will help a lot when it cools down outside. Also once again not using kitchen appliances today because it's just too hot so uh, pizza is on the way for tonight. Not having Taco Bell two nights in a row. Alright, Prover Max is currently out of this window. There's a strong breeze coming right now. And uh, it's still warm outside. Let me go look at the weather station. Uh, yep. 83. And it's 6.48 p.m. right now. Alright, it is now 9.33 p.m. And, uh, as of right now, looks like I'm seeing lights through the blinds. Uh, I'll be outside in just a minute just to see things from the outside. My light's on. It's still pretty cool in here. My air conditioner is getting close to turning on again. Let's go check out the rest of the house. That says 80. I don't know, you can't really see it that well, but... 80. Alright, in here. We're gonna be getting some cool air in here now. Let's uh, maybe see there. 80.6. So it's cooling down in there. As opposed to in here, still 81. Right, let's get the light on. Alright. Now, outside, we have a reading of 76 on the weather station. Humidity appears to be going down, but dew points are high enough that it's still, once again, going to be in the upper 60s to lower 70s overnight. And uh, this room is still 81 as well. Let's head outside and see what's going on outside. Troubling. There. All right. Definitely feels cooler out here now. Uh, looks like the moon has come out. Yeah, there we go. It's the moon. We can see that. We don't really have any light in the sky anymore, so. Kind of so we got progress on the pool filling. Getting there. There's water in there now. You can see that there, hopefully, the rippling. We're getting there. It's not full yet, though. And, uh, uh, the AC, my AC, anyways, well, doesn't look like it's on yet. I am getting hit by bugs, so I'm not gonna stay out here. Especially because this light on my camera is attracting those insects, so I'm gonna have to turn this off. And head inside. So any critters get in. I don't want any unwanted visitors getting inside, so yeah. Can't stay outside too long now because of bugs. That is an unfortunate part of nighttime during the summer. Humidity's still going down by the way. Is there are going to be insects. I don't know if there's any uh, that got inside, but well, it doesn't look like any of them got in, but yeah, they're everywhere outside, so uh, yeah, 
can't stay outside when it's, especially at night, because night is when they tend to swarm. It's just how it is. It just happens with heat waves. here so yeah once it does cool off outside and the rest of the house cools off a little bit too my AC doesn't have to run quite as frequently in order to maintain 72 to 74 in here which is good because during the day it has to run a crazy amount in order to maintain the temperature in here this with this heat wave and uh, things look to be getting better. So, uh, yeah. There's my barometer. And pressure. Let's focus there. It's pretty high. That is 30.3 inches of mercury, but you guys know I hate that unit, so let's take a look at the pressure according to my weather station, since that has it in millibars. down here we have 10.22 there and the uh, yeah, pretty high pressure and that's because of the high general Bermuda high causing it to be so hot and the heat wave and stuff it's because of the high pressure over the ocean just uh, forcing all the warm air over here. So we get stuff like this happening and despite all of our efforts it is still 81 in most parts of the house. In the rooms where we've got fans going it's gone down to 80 but the only room that's truly being kept cool, my bedroom because of the AC. It's not on right now, that's just a fan cycle. It's gonna do that every now and then. And it's programmed to do that for the thermometer inside of the air conditioner, but because I am very opposed to internal sensors, and I'd like to use external sensors whenever possible, I'm not relying on that thermometer and have comfort sense turned on. So the remote behaves as a thermostat. And, uh, yeah, it's, I always try to find a way to use external sensors whenever possible because I think the internal ones just cannot get accurate readings. The uh, device's output tends to throw it off, and since with air conditioners, the uh, thermometer tends to rest on the evaporator coils, it's going to read cooler while the air conditioner is on than uh, the actual temperature. And uh, even with... Space heaters, this is my uh, Govi space heater. Let's get this off of here. This thing also has an internal sensor, even though it wouldn't look like it because there's no evidence that it's there. But, once again, because I don't like internal sensors and think that they're not accurate compared to dedicated sensors. I have the heater automated by this sensor right here whenever I have to use it. And I am very happy that Govi allows you to do that. They allow you to pair their uh, air treatment or heating and cooling devices with their sensors. So that you can use them as external sensors to uh, better regulate the temperature in the room or humidity if it's uh, going to be one of the humidifiers or dehumidifiers. I also have a Dolby humidifier there. The, that is very great. And that, that concludes my rant on why I think internal sensors suck and external sensors are way better.
So yeah, this room still being kept cool. There comes the AC on for an actual cooling cycle. Because the remote just hit 75 again. You see there, I hope. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, end off this video by changing my light to this. Don't do the app here. Now my room is gonna be blue and purple with this lighting scenery here. My air conditioner is going to condition my air yet again today. So I think that's going to uh, conclude today's video. Thank you for watching. Current time is 9.43 p.m. And uh, that is day two of the 2024 pre-summer solstice New England heat wave. Thank you for watching and uh, I am out.